Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otosi and welcome to the first proper episode of this Factorio series where we have crash landed here. And as mentioned in the uh, intro, um, the goal of this series is to have um, a base that produces a somewhat considerable amount of science output without placing down any belts or using logistics robots to get the uh, to get the uh, items around so that certainly means we have to get a bit uh, creative um, what can we do what can we do not much we need more iron so let's head over to the iron patch and start here with some good old smelting and then i think the the first real thing that we need to do is setting a bit of uh, of uh, coal and uh, and iron then also a tiny bit of uh, of copper so that we can start going and whole thing without uh, having a base without belts was in part inspired by a video by Dosh Doshington uh, where he did basically the same thing um, however instead of a, of a main bus he employed um, rail carriages and that's not exactly how I want to do it. Uh, I always envisioned that um, I have at one point a base where uh, I have a bit of a modular build and uh, uh, then use trains to get all the things around and usually that's something that happens anyway at some point if your base is growing um, further and further um, however I want to embrace the modular nature of it um, and um, once we have rails we will have to to come up with with a design for that so I need a few boxes I also need a few more wood and then I think it's uh, a just time to wait until we get some uh, basic materials um, a few more uh, minus a few more uh, uh, arrays there so that we can expand the smelting array and um, have the first research going I have expanded a bit. We have a bit of copper. We have a bit more of uh, iron. And also have a few coal miners there. However, I also crafted a few things. And 
we want to get uh, the uh, research going for that we need to have electricity so usually you do it in a way where uh, you place the the steam turbine close to the water but as we cannot move the coal to the steam turbine in an easy way at least not yet uh, let's place the steam turbine um, where we have the coal and We have this one here. And then power poles. Um, let's put them there. Then let's just pull out a wire here place the research the lab there so I think first we want to have automation and then we can see about the water Right. Um, and these one, they also want to be filled. And the first uh, few science packs. I have to craft myself because we don't have any automation yet. That should be good enough for a while. And then I think, I mean, we don't really need that, but behind that is, is a whole lot of things, especially railway. Um, so we will have to go for that uh, as well as the, as the green signs. Um, so yeah. Let, let's just check off some of these these first uh, researches uh, right off the off the back, and uh, we will probably need to expand further. Um, and. Hmm. Here actually, uh, the electric miners would be uh, would be handy, but at still some time away until we have crafted all this, and uh, then we can probably set a very basic. Uh, Factory, you um, uh, automation factories to produce us the signs. We will still have to deliver the iron plates, the uh, copper plates, uh, but everything else should be uh, should be covered there. Now I have built myself a few assembly machines. So let's see if we 
place one here, we could place the other one here for the green signs. Um, for red... We need gears and copper. So... We will have... Copper in here, iron in here, and that's our red science production. Now we only have to ensure that all these uh, chests stay stocked up. Okay, already out of uh, iron and we are going uh, through the thing here and so let's check the green signs because then we can we can uh, build that line as well. Let's top this off. And maybe one of the next things we want is having uh, also steel going on. Because steel takes quite a few resources and until we need to hurt steel we should have uh, produced sufficient amounts um, for for our need but let's wait for the green signs and then build the uh, the second production deer and there the green science is being researched i handcrafted a few more red ones because this factory there that was just not fast enough so let's do the steel research and then see how we can get uh, these done so One needs to produce belts, the other needs to produce um, the insurgents, and both need gear. So and here. Do that. No more wooden chests. You can have iron here, and this one will be ooh, and no more inserters. Then I think here here we also need iron. Okay. Let's move this one one over. And we can have iron here this one that's for the green circuits that's for the copper cables 
and then we need another box there. Right. So, does that cover everything? Okay, inserts are produced. And green science is produced. Great! I can also check that off our list. Now we just have to see that we get the necessary amounts in those chests. Yeah, copper is already out. Here we will need quite a bit of, of iron here as well. I mean, for a start we probably don't need uh, that much green science because we are still doing research with the red one. Um, but I think, I mean, the, the main goal here is of course that we get uh, towards the the trains because with the trains we can then basically shift material materials around our base however I will probably consider this starter area uh, all manual uh, setup and once we have rail uh, we can design a, a proper modular uh, setup where we can have rails, where we can have uh, blocks um, that basically define uh, where things go. Oh. Would be good to uh, to set up the the recipe there. And I mean, would that work? I think because this one is faster than we consume gears there so hopefully that works out uh, but we will see once we are actually doing some research with the uh, with the with the green science packs power still looking great but as before, it's uh, still a lot of uh, running about uh, to collect all the materials. And I think with that much running, it is just not uh, feasible to scale up our uh, research to include more, uh, more labs because even with with that uh, set up here we would not be able to to uh, supply it um, I mean what we also have to think about is um, when we expand and have a proper grid where do we get our resources from? Uh, I don't think it will be those tiny starter fields. So we might 
to have go outside uh, we might find some aliens um, that we have to get rid of I mean luckily with the with the rail world once we have got rid of a of a nest and uh, conquered that space we don't have to worry about it anymore um, could probably do with uh, with the radar need a bit more copper there there and that should allow us mm, maybe we will not see more than we already do uh, it's a quite sandy place that's that's for sure um, but yeah we will deal the uh, with the aliens probably in the next episode uh, and let's let's close this here for now I will correct a few more uh, more uh, resources um, gather up a few uh, turrets build myself um, a few more rounds of uh, ammunition and then we can head out into the world and see where those uh, aliens uh, are uh, because until we get uh, the, uh, the the rail set up going that's probably still quite a way in the future so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, kind of format here in English and if so please consider leaving a like uh, do subscribe to uh, also get a notification for the for the next one um, oh that was research done so uh, let's let's continue here with uh, these ones and uh, I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.